What's up, movie buffs? I'm Jeremy, and movies are terrible. And on this episode of the Loki Review, I am joined with special guest Holden Hardman. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for having me on here, man. Hopefully so, you guys enjoyed our reaction over on my channel. And we're going to start our conversation here. So um, I'm really looking forward to doing that. Yeah, I'm actually glad you mentioned that because the past few weeks, Holden and I have been combining the reaction video and the review into one thing. And we thought, hey, why not split it up? We can do one video that is simply us reacting. And then you can head over here for the next two weeks to just check out the review itself. So down in the description, I'm going to post a link to Holden's channel. If you're not subscribed, head over there, click the subscribe button. That way you can catch these past couple of episodes as well as see all of our previous episodes episodes that we did over there. We also covered the WandaVision series and did reviews for Falcon and Winter Soldier. So for more Marvel related content, head over and uh, check out Holden Hardman on YouTube. But on this particular video, we're talking about episode five. It starts off with us picking right back up where Loki was pruned and with the other Lokis. I thoroughly enjoyed all of the the other Lokis and seeing them interact and the freaking alligator Loki and all the little, the bits they kept doing with that. They do the dramatic shots on all the Lokis and then a dramatic shot on the alligators. I thought that was hilarious. Sylvie ends up self pruning herself. Uh, she has this one moment with uh, the, the judge or who, whatever her name is, um, obviously was tricking her and uh, end up self pruning herself. Owen Wilson comes back. So happy to see him return. And uh, uh, he ends up going back to the TVA, getting a temp pad. Uh, yeah, and then they they fight the little uh, Alioth or Dra Eliath, that's it, a dragon thing. Man, what did you think overall? Yeah, there is a, a lot in this episode. I do feel like a lot of times it's the penultimate episode that gives us the most action. I, I suspect that the next final episode is probably gonna be a little bit more dialogue heavy. We're gonna have some sort of face off between uh, whoever is actually responsible for this whole uh, TVA situation with our primary Lokis. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna see other Lokis in this next episode. However, there was a moment when Loki's down in the like cellar with the rest of the variants that he met in the previous episode, and he's basically like, "Screw this, I'm out of here," and he uh -huh. goes to escape this little hatch. And I, I literally say in the reaction, "Oh, is that the end of all of the Loki variants?" He opens up the hatch, and there's like a dozen of them standing there there's president loki there's one that's got like a bicycle helmet i thought it was really funny man and i was trying to parse who my favorite of the loki variants is other than sylvie but i think it's alligator loki really i love alligator loki because of all the bits but i think i really enjoyed um old loki what i forget the actor's name and it's gonna drive me crazy but richard um, e grant is his name and he makes a fantastic older tom hiddleston Yes, I think he did great in his little ending there, bringing up kind of this as like Asgard um, to ultimately die by Eliath was uh, pretty, pretty cool. I, I enjoyed that a lot. It gave me a lot of respect for that Loki. Yeah, yeah. This is really a episode where it's like Loki becoming a hero, having that arc that we've always suspected that was going to come at this series. And I don't know if this spells actual doom for the character at the end of the season. I don't know. It, it, it ends off with kind of a, I don't know, a cliffhanger, definitely leading into the next one. Uh, Owen Wilson going back to the TVA and Sylvie and Loki, I guess, are going to be able to escape the the void or whatever it's called. There have been people in the comments section saying that Miss Minutes could be the one pulling the strings behind the scenes. After I this episode that, yeah. in particular, I feel like she's just kind of like a Siri. It doesn't seem like she's got her yeah. own agency in that way. Yeah, I, I could see them doing either way. I kind of had some like, I don't know, finger pointing ultimately when you don't have a whole lot of uh, evidence. It's like, well, it could be this person because they've been here. Um, so that's how I feel about her. And then the whole time when she's like trying to pull up the files and Sylvie's like, what's taking so long? They never ended up pulling those files. Uh, Miss Minutes was stalling until the guards came there, which is how it seemed to have been. Mm. Um, as of now, I don't know. It could be a character we've already seen. It could be a totally new character that we have not seen. It could be a Loki. I think we've that's one of the theories we've thrown around. It could be some other Loki that's running it. I have to assume that it's some other Loki running it. And the reason why I say that is because it's just screenwriting 101 that you really should not introduce a big bad guy that has not been. You got to introduce him early on. And I think that's one of the biggest cop outs about Friday the 13th or some of those other kind of like Giallo movies from the 1970s and 80s. It's like when it ends up being Pamela Voorhees and you have no idea that she's even 
like a character in the movie. It's kind of just like, it's kind of a ripoff. So I feel like a new Loki would be a way to kind of serve both masters in that way. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I don't know if it would be too on the nose uh, for it to be another Loki this whole Fair. time. It would be the only th it would be the only thing I would say. Maybe don't do that. Um, but at the end of the day, I'd be kind of like whatever. Could be a, it could be another Sylvie. It could be another female Loki for all we know. That might be kind of interesting. I don't know whatever they do, but we'll find out next week. So uh, we're going to wrap this up here, but I think that this one is the most uh, has the highest aspirations of of hitting you emotionally and kind of pulling at your heartstrings with the growth of Loki, with his developing relationship with Sylvie, with the death of Richard E. Grant, with the reuniting of Mobius. There are several moments in this that I felt like uh, you know, really tried to pull on the emotion. Uh, five episodes in, man, are you are you feeling it? Do you think that they're doing a good job investing us in the new characters? Or yeah, I, I absolutely. I think they're doing a great job. Let me ask you this: Do you think that Loki actually has changed, like he's told Sylvie? Do you think it's sincere and lasting? That's a really good question. And they kind of plant that seed at the end of the episode where she's like, are you going to double cross me? What if there's an opportunity for you to uh, rule outside of this? And he says kind of like, then I'd be happy. But I think we know that Loki's destined to not be happy. He survives, uh, but he, you know, like we'll see. I, I have a feeling there is a self-sacrifice coming at the end of, of the series. Uh, even though they kind of already did that beat in in Infinity War. I don't know, man. Yeah. We'll what do you see. think? Uh, I, I think the self-sacrifice thing will be, like, I don't know if they're going to have Sylvie and Loki together for the rest of the MCU. You know what I mean? I, I don't see that happening. Um, so one of them, probably Sylvie, is going to end up being killed or, you know, ruling TVA or detaching in some way. All right. Well, we'll find out next week. Guys, leave your theories in the comments section below. Let's open up the conversation. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Let us know what your favorite Loki is. Also, make sure that you are checking out the reactions and the reviews that will be posted on Holden Hardman's YouTube channel, link down in the description. I really appreciate you stopping by and talking some TV with me, Holden. Yeah, man, thanks for having me and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, most definitely. We do appreciate you stopping by. If you want to support this little corner of the internet, consider supporting the Movies Are Terrible Patreon page. I'll post a link down in the description. And until next time, and on behalf of both of us, be terrible. Peace. Peace.